Are you an executive who has reached the ceiling in your current job, who has little time to dedicate to your career transition and need quick and practical advice? This is Happy Monday Executives, empowering executives in career transition, a weekly podcast providing you focused, actionable advice, insights, and powerful tips. With your career strategist guru, Isabelita Castillo. Hello and welcome back. This is episode number 10 of Happy Monday Executives, empowering executives in career transition. I'm your host, Isabelita Castillo, and today we're here to talk about how to be prepared for a job interview that was just last minute you were invited to. You have zero job description and now you, you want to pass that job interview. Well, here we go. There are a few things you can do. It can be challenging without a job description, but doesn't mean at all that you will not pass the interview. Yes, you will if you take the following steps. One, naturally, research and read everything about this company by reading their news feeds, by going on Google and put the name, see what they are up to, what kind of activities they are doing, what kind of events or mergers or acquisitions, whatever they are doing, get a few of their culture, go on LinkedIn, go on the company LinkedIn page. Who are the employees? that are in the same department that you will be. If you're going to be the managing director, who is the current managing director? Who are the senior vice presidents? Who is the CEO? Who is the chairman? Look at all this information and see what they talk about. What kind of job description is there for that same job title that you are applying for for that company? If by any chance you don't have the information for the same company, look what the competitors are doing with that similar job title. Now you have a potential job description by doing this exercise and now you're able to prepare. Make sure to have your CV uh, information from your CV when you go in an interview that actually is a cross match to everything that you're supposedly going to be doing. So use the examples and talk about your skills that are relevant for the job. The next thing you should do, listen to what the person is asking you. What do they really want to know? It's not things that you believe that would be nice to talk about, but what are they asking? And when they ask you about specific tasks or functions or things you have done in your career, make sure to use a STAR, a STAR methodology example. And in case you haven't heard about it, what is a STAR? What was the situation during COVID times, example? Uh, what were the tasks? that you were that were involved with that situation what was required what was the bottleneck that was required for you to solve what actions did you take and what are the results that the organization obtained after you executed those actions so this way it is much more entertaining it's much more pleasant for the interviewer because you'll be able then to make it very uh, visual with your examples. It's literally storytelling, guys. All you gotta do is talk about specific examples that relate and the impact you brought to the organization. Now you are well prepared. Of course, remember to investigate who is gonna be the person interviewing you and take a look at what they are doing on LinkedIn. Hopefully they are on LinkedIn and you can see what they talk about, what's their style like, and if they have any recommendations given by anybody else, you can see what are their strengths and how you can possibly relate to that. So here we go. I hope that was a good and quick possible interview preparation. Now go there and be that life creator. Nail the interview, create the reality that you wish to see in your life and until next time stay blessed always remember to subscribe to my youtube channel and podcast across your favorite channel thanks for watching never miss an episode never miss an opportunity follow happy monday executives with isabelita castillo from any of your favorite podcast platforms thanks for listening and we'll see you next time until then stay blessed